What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. In this video, we are finally back with a Sugo Fest exclusive concept video. It has been so long since I've done one of these videos. I think, I don't even know if I've done one in 2020. This might be the first concept of 2020. I actually don't remember. Either way, uh, for those of you who are new to the channel and potentially don't know what this series is, this is where I've come up with a personal concept for a future Sugo Fest exclusive character. Now, it's kind of strange because... You know, whenever I make these videos, uh, typically in a few months' time, the character actually comes out. It's extremely bizarre. It's happened so many times down the road. Um, but we'll see how this one goes, because this is a character that a lot of people have been wanting to see in the game since his current revelations in the manga. Now, we know that he technically hasn't been in the anime. He technically was, but technically wasn't. Either way, uh, Kozuki Odin, definitely one of the most hyped characters in all of One Piece, and... I really cannot wait until this character comes to Treasure Cruise because he's a really lovable character, he's extremely strong, and he was extremely hyped throughout his time in the manga that they showed with his backstory. So I wanted to give respect to Kozuki Odin, the respect that he deserves considering how awesome he was in the manga. Now before we get into this video, the artwork that was used for this legend concept will be linked down below in the description. Obviously shout out to the artist for creating this art, and this is not like the typical art style that you guys will be seeing for actual Treasure Cruise artwork, so just mind you, it's nothing that's going to look like a character you'd see in One Piece Treasure Cruise, but of course, considering Odin hasn't been in the actual anime in his full glory, the artwork isn't going to be as exact as I would have liked it. Either way, I hope you guys do go on to enjoy this concept, and without further ado, let's get into it. So without further ado, here is the debut of my Sugo Fest exclusive concept of Kozuki Odin Adventures with the Pirate King. This guy is a Psy Slasher powerhouse character and a max level at level 99 with his limit break plus. He's going to have 4368 HP, 2040 attack and 125 recovery. As for his potential abilities, I'm going to get them out the way because they're not as important for this character, but he does have int damage reduction, slot bind resistance, as well as a critical hit chance. Um, you could definitely like switch out one of those for whatever you want. I think Enrage would actually fit pretty well with Kazuki Odin as well. But that's pretty much what it is. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and actually get into his abilities, which is the most important part of the character. So his captain ability states that he's going to boost all characters' attack by 3.75 times and also boost everyone's HP by 1.2 times and also reduce damage taken by 15%. So that is the base captain ability that you'll be getting all the time when you're using Kozuki Odin. However, he does have a buffed effect that will activate during the adventure where it says after attacking with at least four slasher characters, they don't have to be in order, but as long as you attack with four slasher characters, then he's going to boost his own attack by five times and his own normal attacks will be effective against all types and his normal attacks will attack all enemies so the way that this works is as i said obviously you can attack with like a friend captain odin first and then three other slashes as your subs and then when you hit with this guy he's going to be hitting super effective against all types and aoe attacks so obviously it's extremely strong because a five times multiplier with those effects is crazy super duper strong um, and the fact that he boosts everyone's attack as well, which means that you're not restricted to a full slasher team. His special ability does also have a slasher condition. You guys will be seeing that in just a minute. But his captain ability basically means that you, know, you can bring other characters that aren't slashers, which is something that I did want to achieve with this character. And I think a lot of people would agree to the fact that, yeah, when, when Kazuki Odin officially releases, they probably want him to boost slashes in some way. And I wanted to do that, but you, you got to think that some of the characters that, you know, he actually hangs out with in the manga and some of, some of even the the scabbards right not all of them are going to be slashers like Raizo is not going to be a slasher shinobu is not going to be a slasher and then there's some of the other characters uh, in the manga of course that are potentially not going to be slashers so i still wanted a way for him to work with those characters as well as still paying homage to the fact that yeah he is probably the strongest swordsman bar you know roger himself i would say um but either way yeah i think that this captain ability fits extremely well with him he's very self-centered of course which like we've seen in the manga by himself he's able to rush in and wave clear a bunch of enemies and i think that this is again another really good way to pay homage to the way that he acts in the manga um, that we've seen so far where he's able to rush in and just ko a bunch of enemies by himself and i think this is a really cool way to do that um obviously it doesn't bypass defensive effects i think if you added that on top of that this character would be legitimately like the best character in the game uh even still being able to be super effective against everything and deal aoe damage even to that extent i would say is kind of op 
But, you know, it's Kazuki Odin. Everyone wants Kazuki Odin to be the most powerful character in the game. And I think if, if he's not one of the best characters in the game upon release, people would be pretty upset about that. So that is his captain ability that I have for my concept of Kazuki Odin. So let's go ahead and move on to his special effect. So his special effect, again, is relatively self-centered and it maxes at a 14 turn cooldown. And it states that it's going to boost his own attack and slot effects by 3.5 times for two turns. On top of that, he changes his own orb into matching and it does include block slots as well. So he's guaranteed to get a matching slot. And if he is the captain when you launch the special, he's going to boost your chain multiplier by 0.1 for two turns. Um, so it means obviously if he's not the captain, then you don't get the full effect here. And then he does have one last bit where it says, if your crew consists of at least four slashes, this special effect will not activate enemy interrupts, which is very important considering how many different things he does. He's an attack booster, he's an orb booster, he's an orb changer, and he's a chain booster. There's lots of things there that can actually trigger enemy interrupts, and that was going to be one of the downsides to the character because without that last sentence, you know, certain content, he literally, he literally won't be able to clear it as effectively. I mean, you still can with, with the captain ability that he has. You'll still be able to clear it relatively well, but... The fact that this can be stacked on top of his captain effect that I've already created, uh, this is extremely strong. And you, we'll get to some damage numbers in a minute because I have like a little infographic to show you guys um, how much damage he does by himself. And, you know, it's fine. You guys will be able to see how much it is. And it, it's pretty extensive because... Uh, when I was building this, I did realize that this was relatively similar to Stampede Luffy, and I kind of wanted to make it better than Stampede Luffy, right? I just didn't want to release a, a character that was the same. Um, so the fact that his captain ability is significantly stronger, his special ability also significantly stronger, this is going to be able to KO a lot of different enemies very, very quickly. Because you got to remember, with all of these boosts plus attacking all enemies, <laughs> it's extremely strong. So now that we've gone ahead and talked about his captain and special, let's talk about his crewmate ability. So when he's active as a sub, he makes it so that slasher characters cannot be blown away on your team. So obviously this pays respect to a very important scene in the manga. You know, he is that number one bro. He is the number one wingman. He's going to be there to support you no matter what. He's not going to let your slasher characters be blown away. So that's the reason why he is going to have that effect. And his secondary effect makes all of his type slots matching for himself, which is very important because if he's going to be run as a sub, you want to make sure that it's easy for him to get matching slots. So that's the reasoning behind um, adding that specific effect with his um, sailor ability. So now moving on to his support effect, which I have given him, uh, he's going to go ahead and support characters. Now, I, I didn't add a whole bunch of characters to this list. I really wanted to, but I didn't want to make it too spoilery for the anime only watches. So his support ability will only support Kinemon, Raizo, Kanjiro, Cat Viper, and Dogstorm. I guess technically you could add Okiku because Okiku is a character that gets released with Onami and Komurasaki and also is a character during a Kizuna when Luffy and Zora get released. But yeah, Okiku could technically be added to this list as well. But its actual effect will add 15% of his stats to the supported unit. So he's going to be a humongous stat booster for those characters. And I, I, you know, you could have added an effect or something like that, but considering that his captain and special are solely focused on himself with boosting his own stats uh, i kind of just want to just add stats to the characters if he had some sort of other utility effect you could probably add that as a support ability instead but i think this is a pretty fair bet to leave this as his support now the last thing i wanted to talk about quickly before we ended this video is let's talk numbers how much damage is this guy outputting now the way that I've calculated this, it is pretty generic and straightforward. So I don't know if there's any other multipliers that I might be missing in this actual calculation. If I am, you know, and it makes this damage, you know, way too absurd, then it would probably have to be toned back a little bit. But here are some example damage numbers. Now, you, go, you gotta remember here that this is with double Kazuki Odin captain, and only one of those captains has activated their specials, and that Odin is the last to attack in the chain. So you get the highest chain multiply boost. So obviously with Cotton Candies, he's gonna have 2,240 attacks a five times captain effect when he is the last character to attack and also the other captain will be a 3.75 times to the uh to the odin that's got the boost of course um you'll have a 1.5 times ship there may be other higher ships that you could use but for an example we'll leave it as 1.5 and then he's going to have a matching slot so that's an additional two times damage he's going to have a 3.5 attack and or boost from his special ability and of course when he is the captain and you attack with four slashes before him he's going to be super 
super effective against all types. So you get an additional two times damage on top of that, and then a 3.5 times chain multiplier boost. So this totals out to 10.8 million damage, and this does not include any other characters that are attacking during this turn, and it does not include crewmate abilities that potentially will increase his statistics even more, which will make these damage numbers go up even higher. So this is crazy because you got to remember that this is super effective against all types and it attacks every character on the field. It's extremely strong. Uh, honestly, you know, as I said, if I am missing some calculations here, you might need to tone this down instead of making it a 3.5 times orb boost, maybe scale it down to a 3 times or a 2.5 or a 2.75 orb and attack boost instead. And you got to remember that you can actually stack other specials on top of this, which would make Odin hit even harder so potentially you could add a an ability with his special where it limits the amount of specials that you can use with his special alone kind of very similar to the v3 Rayleigh that just got announced uh on one piece treasure cruise japan actually so it's kind of interesting you know these are just my thoughts and opinions for a concept for odin making him extremely strong it can attack a lot of enemies at once super effective against all types he's an absolute powerhouse but that is going to about wrap up this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. And if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But other than that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.